Hey there, good evening. Assalamu alaikum. This is Muzaffar Shah again. I'm here with a new lecture and it will be about questions. How to make questions and how many types we have to create a question. Okay, so let's learn that. We have, you know, six types of questions. I will just repeat the names. Yes, no question, WH question, alternative questions, emphatic question and rhetorical question. A special one, take question. We are going to discuss all these questions. What is yes no question? Let's learn it, okay? It is also called general question. We can say it general question, okay? We can also say it closed question because whenever we want to give the answer of yes no question or you know closed question or general question the answer will be only in yes no there we have only uh, these two ways to give its answer you got it now you already know the pattern how to make yes no question always we put auxiliary at the beginning of the sentence and at the end we put there a question mark sometimes we have main verbs as well like we have in in the simple sentences suppose we have uh, I'm a teacher I have a red marker so M is used as a main verb have is used here as a main verb so uh, those main verbs will be put at the beginning of the sentence while making yes to question okay and at the end we will put the question mark so this is just to get you remember the things uh, you know yes no question okay now come to wh question we can call it information question what information question we can also say it special question that is general question it is special question why? Because we have, you know, question words. And here it is called information question because we have to give information. If I say yes in the response of the WH question or no in the response of WH question, it will be totally wrong or people will laugh at you, okay? So w, WH question needs information in the answer about that question and what will be the pattern of making the wh question we always put you know auxiliary and main verb while we have simple sentences or you know tenses from the tenses we put the auxiliaries we take that auxiliary and from the simple sentences we take that verbs and put that at the beginning of the sentence while here when we make the questions yes no before that we have to put you know what question words how many you know we have a lot of question words let's learn when when will you come will you come when will you come when when you come is yes no question when will you come wh question where, why, how, who, whose plus noun, whose marker is this, whose marker is this, you got it, home, how, and then we say how old, how old are you, how long, how much, how many, etc. Making WH question. If you don't, you know, don't remember the pattern, just make first yes to question and then put that question words at the beginning of that sentence, okay? Suppose I say, will you come? So, before will you put there, when? When will you come? And at the end question mark. This is uh, just to you know memorize it because you already know all these yes no questions and wh questions 
My main topic is that we have to learn six types of questions, okay? And in that six types, so we have the third alternative questions. What is alternative? First, yes, no, then question, you know, W is question. Now, alternative, what is alternative? Those questions where we have, you know, in the same sentence, we will have two questions. And that questions will be connected with the help of OR. R. You got it? Come. Contains more than one question means there will be not a question. There will be more than a question. And the same question, okay? And it will join by OR. Or. Answer can be in the negative as well as uh, you can give it some say in the positive. Okay. We will keep continue the same things here, but before going there or before coming to emphatic questions, I'll give you an example. Would you like your red or black? I like red. I don't like black. Two answers. I like red. I don't like black. Means I like red. What do you like? A cup of tea or coffee? Would you like to take a cup of tea or coffee? This is a question. Alternative questions. Two questions. A cup of tea or coffee? You got it? You like your mom or dad? I like my mom very much. You got it? So, uh, such kinds of sentences are called alternative questions, okay? Come to emphatic questions. What is emphatic questions? Sometimes we need what? Emphasis. You know? You have your feelings and to emphasize that feelings of what? Anger, irritation, and surprise. So the definition will be used to emphasize feelings of anger. Feelings of anger, irritation, or surprise. What the hell are you doing here? Get out! What the hell? So I put there the hell. You got it. Before it, we will put W H. After it, auxiliary. And you got it. What the rubbish is going on here? You can't write. What the rubbish? What is going on? So irritation, anger. And it is surprise because suddenly you saw something wrong and you got angry. So showing that feelings, whether irritation, anger or surprise, you have to use emphatic questions, rhetorical question. What is rhetorical question? You know, it will be statement and the form of question you will have. Suppose I say, you see the Prime Minister to do that work, means he is not the Prime Minister. And he hasn't any authority to do that work. So rhetorically, I say him, you see the Prime Minister, sentence is, suppose, you say, am I not your teacher? Means you already know that I am a teacher. And I just want to emphasize, okay, that there is nothing wrong. You see me, I'm your teacher, you are my students, and you have to learn and I, I, I have to teach. Another sentence I can say for this, aren't we human? Aren't we human? You already know we are human. 
It is a statement in a question form that everyone knows that we are human. You got it? So here we have some sentences that are uh, rhetorical questions and we will learn that there. Take questions, we call it mini questions, so we can say it also tail question. Our question tail is also said to the questions. It is used to confirm and it is also used for agreement. For the confirmation and agreement we use take questions. What will be in the take question? If the statement is positive, the take question will be negative. If the statement is a negative, the take question will be a positive. If the statement is in continuous tense, present continuous tense, the take will be in the present continuous tense. Tense cannot be changed. You know, whether it is uh, present, past or future, suppose I say in the present and the tag is in the past or the tag is in the future, then that question will be wrong. How we will use it in our daily life? They play cricket. They play cricket. It is present in definite tense, simple present tense. They play cricket. Don't they? What will be the tag? Don't they? They play cricket there. Don't they? Means between you and me, I need agreement on the situation, whether am I right or wrong. So I will ask, don't they? Uh, I want to confirm the situation. Don't they? She's singing a song. Isn't she? She's singing a song. Isn't she? Take question. In the same tense, in the same, you know, uh, form, the tag will be asked. She's singing a song. Isn't she? She's not singing the song. Or she isn't singing a song. Is she? The tag will be again. The statement is a negative, the tag will be in the positive. If it is in the positive, the tag will be in negative. She isn't singing a song. Is she? To make agreement between me and you, is she? The situation is al already clear. You and I have seen the situation that she is singing a song. But for the agreement and for the confirmation, I asked a take question. She is singing a song, isn't she? You got in every tense, whether it is tense or you know simple sentences, we can make take questions. And in the spoken, it is you know very important to use take questions. You got it. Now let's come to sentences. We have uh, many types of sentences, okay? All of these types we have here. First example, is she a doctor? Is she a doctor? The answer can be in yes or in no. Yes, she is. She is a doctor. It is the full answer of yes, no question. Yes, she is. She is a doctor. The short answer, yes, no, a bit more, yes, she is, no, she isn't. Three types of answers are possible in yes, no questions. Yes, no, yes, she is, no, she isn't. Second, third. Yes, she is. She is a doctor. Full answer. You got it? <clears throat> Two. Do they play game? It is simple sentence. Is is our main verb. 
but do is a verb auxiliary verb in question number two do they play cricket because we have a main verb over here play you got it do they play game do they play games no they don't they don't play games no one answer they don't play games second answer no they don't play games you got it third why i'm here is there any reason why i'm here because the answer is because i want to teach it is my you know hobby to teach my students so the answer is not in yes i know because here we have wh question why you got it why we put it here why am i here why am i here question the answer should be i'm here to teach my students I give you information about that question. It can be used in the, you know, spoken like this, why I am here. But in written, you have to say, why am I here? Why am I here? You got it. Who are they? Who are they? Yes, they are. No, they are not. Can we say such types of answers of WH question or information question? Never. Here we have been asked a question. Who are they? They are my friends. This is Ali. And this is Noman. And this is Salma. You got it? So my answer can be like that. Full information about WH question. Now it's turn off, you know. Sometimes we have suppose how how old, how long, how much, how many. So it is a question like that. How old is he? How old is he? He's 29 years old. A full answer. The information. I gave 29 years old. Is she at home or at school? At school, at home. I asked here two questions. Is she at home or at school? So if there is two questions, more than a question and you find the or so then it will we will say alternative question it will be called alternative questions okay is she at home or at school is she at school or at home she isn't at home Possible negative answer. She is at home. Positive answer. You got it? Means that an, an alternative, the answer can be, you know, a negative, and the answer can be in a positive. Where there, you need to say that first. You got it? Suppose I was expecting her at home but she is at school so my answer will be she isn't at home so, are you from london or hampshire two questions are you from hampshire or are you from london but this uh, these two questions have been combined by a word what that word is where is that question? Or oh. 
from London, from Hampshire. If again we have two questions in a sentence, in the same sentence we have two questions, what will be our response? We will say that question, alternative question. What the hell are you doing here? Get out! The hell! W which auxiliary in between here we have the hill what the hill is here what is here something wrong something fishy so if you want to show the feelings of you know irritation surprise then you have to put the the hell, the rubbish on on the whatever it were will we have here where on earth where on earth the rubbish so we can use these words for the emphatic questions now come to rhetorical examples we have two examples here Am I the Prime Minister? What are you doing? This is not my duty. Am I the Prime Minister? Means you already know I am a simple man. I don't have, you know, any power. So why you ask such types of questions? So it is called a rhetorical question. 14. She doesn't sing. Does, sorry. These are tech questions I was talking about. He plays cricket, doesn't she? Want to confirm? Yes, doesn't she? She doesn't play, does she? So I want to confirm it between you and I. Because you and I both have seen her that she was playing in the ground and I'm asking the question and tag that doesn't she? She wasn't playing. Does she? So these are called tech questions.